All right, we're back with third and three with Coach Roger Holmes. I'm Jason Holcomb, joined by Coach Holmes as always. Coach, last week uh, we were trying to test ourselves, at least our hearts, a little bit uh, with all of this excitement. Two weeks in a row we've had some exciting games, and you don't get more exciting than fourth quarter, last second field goals. No doubt. Uh, week before, overtime, extra point win, one point win. This week, Shamrock Bowl, wide left over my left shoulder right back here behind these goal posts. And thought it was neat hearing the radio guys, uh, one of the East boys saying, the lucky the leprechaun was sitting up on that uh, left upright. Didn't let the ball inside. But uh, a great win for us overall. A good 5A football team and veterans. And one, I think, when the end of the year rolls around, it might be a little bit more impressive win for us because Veterans is a good football team. Yeah, it looked like they were doing some pretty impressive things and then you guys made some strategy changes. This week, I imagine it's a totally different ball game because Wilkinson, as people who aren't familiar, a lot of talent, a lot of athletes year after year, uh, sometimes fundamentally maybe back and forth. What are some things you're trying to prepare your kids for, for what Wilkinson's bringing? Well, the first thing you got to try to prepare for is a 6'5 quarterback who looks like Cam Newton standing in the pocket, throws like Michael Vick because he's left-handed, and uh, he's got a lot of skilled kids out there and running backs and receivers that make some awful big plays for him. So a very, very explosive, talented group of young men. Uh, Defensively, very, very aggressive group up front. Boy, they, they change the line of scrimmage on every snap. So we're going to have to play better in the offensive line than we did last week, Jason, if we're going to have a chance to, to be 3-0. and uh, it's, it's a football team up there, I think, that set their sights on they're young defensively or inexperienced, and I think they feel like the way to win football games for them is score a lot of points. We've got to play side, solid sound defensively, eliminate big plays. Uh, from an offensive standpoint, we have to be more consistent and block better up front. And finally, who are three guys that come to mind as guys that, that played either up to or above their potential last week and are putting you guys in a better position this week to look at being 3-0? and Tyler Strickland had a big night for us. Our first touchdown drive, we converted a pass route to him on third and 12. Third and 13, he turned it into a first down. He had a pick six on defense, but uh, uh, Jermaine Cooley got a hand out and tipped a, a slant route, and uh, Tyler was the recipient of the tip ball. Uh, Ramon Pittman had a big night for us the other night with uh, 90 yards rushing in like eight carries or nine carries. So solid night for him. Uh, you know, we need different players every week to step up and then do some fabulous things. And we look forward to this week of uh, seeing who that next Irishman who's going to make plays for us really is. I want to encourage you guys, it's not a far drive, about 20, 25 minutes up the road, up 441. You can come check out uh, Dublin and Wilkinson County as they square off in a non-region contest, hoping that the Irish can get to 3-0. I want to thank you again for joining us. This has been 3rd and 3 with Coach Roger Holmes.